Okay, so after my last video where we briefly went over the whole Roblox ghost myth, I wrote this video down as an idea so that we could go a little bit more in depth with it all because even though it is quite clearly fake, I am extremely curious as to why this actually became a myth and why Zeph specifically made around 30 videos consistently on the same topic. I just want to point out that I am not really calling anyone out and I mean absolutely no disrespect to anyone involved with this myth or any creators who have made videos on this myth. Whilst keeping my opinion and being honest with what I truly think about what I'm about to show, I also want to try my best to approach it with respect. Because without getting too sentimental, we are still people after all. I just wanted to dive deeper into this whole thing and research it a little more and share with you guys exactly what I found. We also have to be kinda careful because a certain someone called out a certain someone for making a video on Zeph. Although I didn't actually watch either one of their videos, so I can't really comment on that. So right off the bat, after a little bit of research, it seems like this whole thing started literally almost two years ago on January 24th, 2017 with I found a ghost in prison, OMG. Roblox prison life. That is assuming that it actually was Zeph who started the myth, I'm really not sure. This was one of the most shocking things for me to find out because I sort of assumed that the Roblox ghost became a big myth when the logo changed to grey, but it seems like Zeph has been making videos on this ghost for 22 months. And when I go to his channel and hit Control plus F and search for a ghost, Yes, 49 search results, which basically means he has made 49 videos on this ghost so far. Which I mean, 49 is a little excessive, but it was over the course of a whole 10 months, I guess. So it seems fine. That is until you actually take a good look at his channel and realize that actually 28 of his last 30 videos have been about the ghost. And once again, I mean no disrespect, but this is where I had to stop and take a long, hard think. I'm struggling to think what you could possibly put in 49 whole videos about a fake ghost on Roblox. And especially every one of your videos for the last 30. Although I wasn't all that involved in that Lego Boxian versus Nephoric situation, I know that Lego did argue in his video that the whole ghost thing is fake and Zeph's videos are fake. I also saw a few people arguing against LEGO by saying that it's obvious that the videos are fake and everyone knows that, which yes, it is very obvious that the videos are fake, but not everyone knows that and as far as I'm aware, it's not mentioned in the videos at all or anywhere else really. And I guess while some people who keep watching that series, even after 28 continuous videos on it, do watch it for entertainment, but arguing that people know it's fake is just invalid. Hey, is the Roblox ghost real? I know you said it isn't, but I believed it since the beginning. And also, back when I asked for your theories of the grey Roblox logo on Twitter, a couple of people mentioned that the Roblox ghost changed it, which obviously has come from Zeph. I can't find exactly which video it is that this was insisted, but apparently Zeph said that the Roblox ghost is the one who changed the logo, which, of course, it didn't. Also, in his most recent video, I found a secret ghost tunnel. He showed this Roblox character named Zero Danielito, and I think this is the ghost that he has been referring to for a very long time. So I searched up the account, and he has such a lovely status update there. This account was also created on the 19th of August in 2015, so maybe this myth has been going on since 2015 and not 2017, I'm not too sure. But the account does have a YouTube channel linked. I have expected I expected the linked channel to be Zeph, but no, it's to Danielito's channel with one 12 second video titled Die. Bit aggressive if you ask me, but alright. I have no idea what is going on in the video, but it looks like this guy goes insane, laughs, and then cries. Then it just shows Zeph's Roblox account. The top comments on this Die video are pretty much just Zeph fans begging this ghost not to hack Zeph or begging the ghost to leave Zeph alone. And then we have little Cole Steve 8 here asking the ghost if he can help him harass Zeph, so that's very interesting. But once again, judging by those comments, I think it's safe to say that not everyone knows that the whole ghost thing is fake. And with this video, I sort of found out a little bit more, but it seems like there's limits to what I can find out with researching this topic. When I Google Roblox ghost, all that comes up is a model of the Danielito account, so you know. But yeah, once again, I personally don't think it's the greatest thing to have created 30 consistent videos on the exact 
same exact thing. Especially with it not being real, but maybe some people see it differently. But I don't see it being any reason to hate on Zeph at all, so I'd greatly appreciate it if you guys don't send hate to Zeph or anyone else who may be involved with the whole Roblox ghost thing. But I would, however, love to hear your thoughts on it down below. So let me know what you guys think of the Roblox ghost. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.